I'm an hourly worker and I'm not going to take a salary position because then I'll have more responsibility and I won't be able to have overtime. Kirby, have you heard this before? Uh, yeah, I heard this many times. Actually, I was told this when I was an hourly worker back back in the day when I was young. I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I wish I was a kid again. I know you don't know what that means. That's that's old rap lyrics that you wouldn't understand it. But anyway, uh, but yeah, no, that's that's something that I find. And and at first, when I first moved to hourly positions, uh, and then you know it was the older people, you know, and I, you know, going from government to civilian side, I thought that they knew what they was talking about, you know. So in my situation, they would always say, "Oh no, don't move up to." Don't move up to a salary position. Don't move up higher in the company because they'll work you harder. And then you can make the same money as an hourly worker if you do overtime. The first thing I always think is my time is the most valuable thing. So if I have to work overtime to make the same amount they're making or more than what the salary people are making, then why not just move into that position and don't have to work all these strenuous hours, but then they come back with the combat question. Oh no, they put so much responsibility on you and things like that. But for, and I'm not going to lie, I was not even a, a listen to the nonsense for a little while. And then eventually one day I just said, no, I'm going for it. And then once I started moving up and this is for everybody that's out there in this, in the uh, working space, the more you move up in a company, the less work you do. So all that stuff when you're seeing, you know, supervisors in meetings and stuff, and you think they're working strenuously hard, they up in there slapping and joking. They can go take time off and not use vacation days. When you're hourly worker, every minute that you take off, you gotta have uh you gotta have accountability for it, or you gotta have PTO or all that other stuff. So don't fall into that office hype of the difference between salary and hourly. Balance, I know you got a lot more on there in your dynamic where you are. So go ahead, run with it. Yeah, it's very true. Um, and people forget that you can uh you can kind of discuss with your uh you know the the leads or the uh, managers that bring you into the promotion. Uh you can discuss with them and kind of counter your your pay raise. Um calculate it well, you know, if you don't want to you don't want it to be a lateral move if you know you if you're working 40 hours a week and then you go into a salary position you're making the same so make sure you're accounting for it and if you are working overtime uh as an hourly person if you're working eight ten hours extra a week what would that pay be in difference you know say that uh what's that what's that extra payment that you're receiving annually and is that or is that compensated into your salary position? If it is, then it's not really a lateral move because now you can go back to working 40 hours a week or less and you're still compensated for that extra 8, 10 hours of overtime you were putting in before. So now you have more time on your hands and equal pay that you're making for less amount of work. Uh, but people forget that they can uh, discuss with the with management you know, what they want their pay to be. I think people get timid and afraid to discuss pay and they just kind of say yes to uh, whatever gets thrown at them. Um, but yeah, when you go into salary, you it's, it's very it's a lot more lenient um, than being an hourly worker. Um, I mean, just in my job environment, when I was hourly at the same company, um, you had to be at your desk. Uh, the only time you could go away was if you were using the bathroom, 15 minute break, 30 minute break. Um, but you had to be there the whole time. Uh, putting in your eight hours and then you know then technically you're really at the company longer because you have to take a 30 minute break so you're there for eight and a half hours as salary it's like my job is just everywhere it's like I'm in the office I'm outside I can go somewhere else like I, I'm just on the phone like it's I could be at my house on lunch and then still taking calls or whatever like I don't have to be at one location um, some nights are easier and, you know, work, the workload is completed, uh, before the eight hour mark or whatever. So, you know, there's from that point, it's just like being on call for, you know, to manage the operation. It's like, at that point, it's, it's a lot more lenient. Um, I would say I prefer being salary over hourly, um, because you, you have more time on your hands and with that extra time on your hands, 
you can choose, you can now do something else, whether it be a side hustle or a part-time job. Um, people need to think more about when they are working overtime, you're literally trading your time. So you're losing hours to your day, to your week, because you want to make an extra couple dollars on top of your paycheck. And is it really worth it? You, I mean, that's something that people really need to think um, because if you're making, if you're working overtime, that is not your base salary. That's, you know, additional work that you're putting in to be compensated for that extra work. But most people argue like, oh, I won't take the pay unless, you know, I'm making this per year when I work overtime. Like, but that's when overtime is available. Not all companies also offer overtime. They can, they can cut overtime hours. You're not guaranteed overtime hours. So in a salary position, there's also, uh, I feel like there's more benefits. I mean, I know with us, we can carry up to technically, it's like two weeks personal, two weeks vacation comes out to, if you've been there for five years, it's another week. So it's like over a month of vacation time, pretty much. Um, hourly associates, um, I think they get three weeks or something like that. So, so yeah, it's a couple and and another another part of that is usually and it's not usually I know it's the truth hourly workers if you are talking about rungs of an organization hourly workers are at the bottom rung and usually when hard times hit or companies need to reorganize or cut expenses the people that get cut first are the hourly workers so the people that hourly workers and you want to stay an hourly worker, you're at the bottom of the rung, so you're setting yourself up to be slashed to lose your job. If you're not progressing in a company, then you're just out there sheep to slaughter because companies do reorganize over time, and the first one that they go after is the hourly workers because that's the easiest thing that they can cut off to get to their financial goals. So understand that whole dynamic and aspect of it because – just being stagnant in the company, and Alex, you said it best, is you want to, you know, work and give them more hours so you can make more money in the overtime realm. That it's setting you up for failure in the long run because uh, I'll just give a brief story. The same company that I was telling you where they was telling me, don't move up, don't move up because you're going to have to work harder. You're going to have to sit in meetings. You're going to be working 15, 20 hours a day. The truth is I uh, work less. And then right after I moved up, maybe the year after I moved up, all the hourly workers was let go. Not some, all of the hourly workers were let go. And then now I sit there, the same people that was telling me never move up to a salary position are without a job. So now I look at, I, I look at it and say, thank God I didn't listen to those people. So understand what, how the, job market works and if you're not staying at a step above the game or ahead of the game then you are the game and you're setting yourself up for failure but with all that i know we didn't introduce ourselves at the beginning of the video because alex <laughs> was trying to get his face right but i'm alex i mean no i'm not alex that's alex i'm Kirby. uh but please like and subscribe to the video and uh help us out with subscriptions we're trying to grow the channel but put the comments in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video See you guys.